Vlogs, episode 120. Mizzle and Mac out here in Pelham, Alabama with Wayman Reeves and Agba Horse Shopper. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and enjoy the video. Well, this is Agba Force Chapo. This is a uh, son of uh, Eminem Von House Edelstein and Agba Force Wonder. Uh, we got him approximately four months ago. Starting to get acclimated pretty good. He's, uh, he's a beautiful specimen. I think he's going to do real good for me. Uh, he got a little ways to go before he starts, before he hits that floor, but he's up and coming. Uncle Force Wonder, so far, has been a pretty good producer. Uh, I have two females off of him, Aqua Force Mandy, which is Batman's sister. I also have Aqua Force Italian. Uh, Italian produced a couple of magnificent litters for me. Uh, I think she probably got those genes from her mom, so she's passing them down. She's doing real well for me. Uh, Mandy hopefully be coming up pretty soon. Stay tuned. Uh, and uh, I guess I got to say everything I've gotten so far has been pretty cool, relaxed, good temperaments, laid back, you know, easy to train. Uh, so far, she's producing the big, the, the big blockheads, the big bones, the dark colorings. Everything's, you know, everything I look for in the Rottweiler. Nice. She's producing it. So that's right. And you've bred to. Um, her litter mate, Agua Force Waldo, several times. That's correct. That's correct. Quite a few times. Matter of fact, have a breeding on deck right now. Puppies do uh, around the fourth of December. Uh, I bred her. To, I bred a tie to her. To her. I have uh, Russ Isla Ferrari bred to him uh, right now. Nice. He's he's proven to be a top top notch stud also. Before I had a. Uh, Back before Samson, who was the son of uh, Lex von Haus Edelstein. And of course, everybody probably knows Lex was the 2015 IFR World Champion Best Producer. Uh, so I had the opportunity to, to pull him. Uh, speaking of which, going back to Wanda, she's over the Zumba von Haus Jackson that happened to be the 2017 IFR World Champion Best Producer. And uh, right now, I just think I, I had to go back to him because I, I know what he's producing. I know he's consistent. You know, just like Wanda, he's putting together those big bones, big head, square head, you know, nozzle just right, you know, not too short, not too long. So, you know, I, I have a look, I have a look that Von Reed's trying to keep, and uh, so I felt like getting the sun off of Eminem, bread to Wanda, would keep that road going. Simona had posted uh, several pictures of Chapo. My wife saw him. She was like, babe, come look, come look at this picture Simona posted. Look at this picture. And I looked at it and I said, wow, now he's tight. So of course I reached out to make check, see who he uh, how the breeding went. I found out it was Eminem and Wonder. I was sold. So my wife said, hey, reach out to Simona. See if that boy's available or what. You know, so I I, I hit Simona up. At the time he wasn't available. You know, so I, I said, man, I just follow back, see what happened, because I wasn't necessarily just looking real hard no way. And uh, I'm patient, you know, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till what I see and what, what fits me and I think I like is gonna come to me. So I just fell back and left it alone. And uh, in the meantime, I told, I talked to my boy Mike about it, told him what I saw, what I was trying to get to, you know what I'm saying? Talked to man Simone, I said, hey. Talked to Simone again, I said, hey, something happened, just let me know. Lo and behold, about a week two later, Mongo said, yo, I think I think that boy Chapo is gonna be available. I said, word? <laughs> so I hit Simona up, you know, and uh, I said, hey, don't don't forget about me, something happened now. And next thing I know, Simona calls me up. She sent me this long letter, letting me know, uh, hey, things didn't work out with the guy that was supposed to get him. And I said, hey, I guess the stars are lining for me. You know, I said, line, I said, hey, put him, put him up, get him ready. Let's get him across here. And the rest is history. Yo, that's a, a, a crazy story. And I'm happy that you that you told it. Because I think a lot of people don't understand the patience with having the right dog, right? Um, and for me, that comes into, into play when you're building a connection with your dog. Like... The right dog will help you build a better bond with your dog in the long term. These dogs are coming from overseas. And I've said this in videos in the past. It's a new language. It's a new environment. It's a new smell. They're good on a long plane ride. 
So for you, when you got Chapo here, you already had an attachment to him before he came. So you wanted to put that effort in that much more. Am, am, am I right by saying that? That's correct, that's right. So what was that transition for you getting him here and getting him adjusted? Because you put him in some training for how long? I put him in training for about two months. Uh, got a guy named Daryl with Daryl K-9. He's pretty good with him, you know. You're looking for a dog to just be a companion or, or a dog to do that bite work, but also a companion. He was pretty good with it, so uh, I just wanted to get him a little more mild because he, he, he was pretty around Boston when I first got him, but, you know, pretty much like the rest of my dogs. They But they, they learn, they key in, they line up, you know, they get right eventually, so it don't usually be a hard transition. I try to say, because, you know, I try to keep up with your dogs. You have Russ Isla Ferrari. You have Agba Forest Italia. Agba Forest Mandy. You have SJ, you have Thor, you have Diva, you have Angel, Camilla, Chapo. That's all of them. You got nine. You have nine Rottweilers and four French Bulldogs. Six. Six French Bulldogs, okay. You got a full house. That's right. You got a full house. How was it integrating Chapo into your pack? It was pretty easy. It, was, it, was, it wasn't too bad at all. Uh, my dogs know who the real pack leader is. Okay. So they gon' they they gonna get in tune no matter what. So uh, it wasn't hard to it wasn't hard to acclimate him. You know he, he came right in. Of course we do what like we everybody do. You know put him on the two ends of the fence. You know one on one side, one on the other. One. Let them lick and play through the fence or bite at each other. Or do whatever. Go and get it out the system and right after that everything's cool. You was the first kennel that I ever filmed. So you was the start of this whole thing. You remember that? Yeah. That was, yeah. what, two years ago now, I think. Yeah. Two years ago. Um, how does it feel knowing that you was the, the originator to help kicking this whole thing off? Feels good. Feels real good, you know? And to see where, it's, where it is now. The quality is better. You know, um, the, the, so much has changed since, since that time. Yeah, I mean, uh, of course, I'm always be, a heart, be glad to be a part of anything Mizzo does, you know. I can send him a good friend, you know, ever since he came to bought that first puppy from me. We ain't turned back, man. My family's like his family. His family's like my family, you know. So feels good to be, be one of the originators in this thing with him. And uh, feels good to come back from time to time. So, you know, it, everything's good. It's all good. You have a litter. You have some availability, but you're waiting for the puppies to get here. How can people get in contact with you to inquire about this litter? Because I'm pretty sure people want to know. So let's talk about the, the, the litter that you have. Because it's a phenomenal breed. Agba Force Water, Russ Isla Ferrari. Russ Isla for everybody um, who doesn't know. That's the, the kennel in Russia. He has a Russ Isla female that he imported from uh, Miss Irene in Russia. So let's talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, I got a, I got a litter coming. Uh... Like he said, it's Russ Isla Ferrari, a breeder to, to act before it's Waldo. Uh, puppets should be due around December the 4th. Um, I have two deposits on that litter, only because I, I, don't, I don't really like taking deposits ahead of time. I like for my puppets to come, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not here to try to make no 200, 200 lists for people to have them waiting forever for a puppet for me. Uh, I rather wait for the puppies come, and, and I hope everybody understands that. You know, I don't like holding people money. I rather wait for the puppies to come and let them speak for themselves. Uh, I actually do have deposits on this litter. I have one for one male and one for one female, uh, and then I wouldn't accept anymore. And uh, the only reason I accepted those two is because uh, these people said they <laughs> they have a time trying to get in to get a puppy once they come, so they just wanted to have their money sitting up, sitting there ready. So. I can appreciate that, you know, and I thank them for that. But uh, like I said, puppets coming December the fourth or around thereabouts, and uh, I'll be posting a little when they come, and that's when I'll start back taking deposits. Uh, I have another female in heat, uh, Diva Carleone. Well, she'll be bred to uh, Apple Force Mac Batman, as most people know her, mm -hmm. owned by my boy Mizzo. About to do this collaboration, try to drop it here real soon. 
Uh, that's the only one, I, that's the only other one I know coming up soon. Uh, Mandy, she, she should be coming up probably yeah. in the next couple of months or next four to five weeks. Uh, when she comes blown, I think I'm gonna probably put her to, to uh, Thor. We're gonna see how that turns out. Thor's from House of Lazic, everybody. Yeah, that's right, Thor House of Lazic. Uh, if you hadn't seen the video when I first got him, Mongo put together me a real nice. Uh, I told him what the theme I wanted since his name was Thor, you know, God of Thunder. He put he put it real, put me together a real nice little video. Y'all go check it out. Uh, it, it's probably in my earlier vlogs. I might have to repost it so you can catch it again. But uh, if you need to reach out to me, uh, you want to try to get a puppy. You know, you can send me a pup. You can send me a message on Messenger. You can go to bunreesrockwallow.com. Hit contact us. Send an email. My number's there. You can give me a call. Uh, I ain't hard to find. For all the people who's watching, we're saving a lot of the Bun Reeves story because his story is a big piece of the Aqua Force documentary. But how do you feel about Rockwaller Blog so far? Oh, I'm loving it. I, 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 I watch it. Of course, I got inside track, so I know when they drop it. <laughs> so, uh, and I'm, I'm here to try to push them out. Everybody go. Y'all go on there. Check my boy out. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit your like buttons. Subscribe. Don't forget, subscribe. You know, uh, I think V-Laws, my boy, he's doing a good job. He's trying to, you know, he's trying to spread his wings, trying to get from here to yonder. Talk to anybody that wants to talk to him. Uh, you know, good information, a lot, a lot of good, a lot of real good information for those people who may just be trying to come in and, you know, not sure how, how uh, things work or operate. You know, he, he puts out a lot of good information, so subscribe. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Rob Waller Vlogs, episode 120, and checking out Agua Force Chapo. And we appreciate Mr. Wayman Reeves being on episode, so thank you. We appreciate the support. Roll Tide.